what's up guys my name is george and welcome to the um fourth episode of career mode with porto i believe it is the fourth one um in this episode we are gonna play some interesting games so we're back in the champions league playing against fc basel uh the first game against hoffenheim we did pretty good we won the match barely one zero but we got away with that victory so i was happy about that in this one we are gonna start it off in liga nos against belenenses um you guys are gonna notice that the video is pretty short and that is because i had a lot of technical difficulties with the video i this it happens where um just the picture just goes off and um it just kind of seems like looks like static like if you were you know watching um something on cable and then the cable is kind of going out or the antenna so this is what happened in this episode and honestly i cannot fix it i you know i unplugged my um, capture card plug it back in um, one thing I didn't do was turn off the computer and back on so maybe I should have done that but anyways I had to edit out a lot of things and I only kept the goals so we're gonna have here the first um, first chance of the match we're playing against Bellinenses and as you can see already it looks pretty pretty bad so I'm sorry for that guys um, next episode should be good um, but yeah so we actually concede a penalty in the first um half here and that's also like pretty much in the first um minutes of the game i believe so it is on the i can't really see it um <laughs> but um yeah we can see a penalty um and so it's gonna be bellinensis who is going to take this one and casillas was actually so close to getting that ball but no wasn't able to get that so i was pretty disappointed i you know i dived in the direction that it, the ball was going but um it was the, it was a no good um it was just not good at all that we conceded a penalty right there but then we're gonna score a goal here in the 28th minute so i believe that first goal was around the first five minutes 10 minutes of the game but it's gonna be suarez getting another goal for us in the league he has been amazing i'm pretty i'm glad that i kept him and that, that i didn't um, purchase a different striker um, and right now he is at 80 in rating so he's doing pretty good that was a sick finish that was just really good didn't even stop the ball great finish so 1-1 one, one, happy to score that equalizer then we are gonna get our share of a penalty and this is gonna uh, be when Sasso tackles my player in the box and Vincent Sasso gets a yellow card and we get a penalty so this was a good chance for us to make this game a 2-1 and keep on uh, being at top of the league Well, you know, sharing it with sport team. Um, so I was uh, happy that we got that penalty and that we can score the second goal. So, sorry guys, it's it's really, <laughs> it really kills me to, um, to upload a video like this with all these technical difficulties. Um, but, I mean, what can I do? Um, so Suarez gets that penalty in and we are going 2-1 now 2-1 in the first half so so already three goals in this match pretty pretty good um in terms of um in terms of entertainment for the fans <laughs> but um yeah so 2-1 we put this one left of the goalkeeper um he kind of didn't really move until we took the shot and that's kind of worrying for me just because I thought the goalkeepers would be a little bit better, but it seems like they're not. We're going to come into the second half, and we're going to score the third one. Gives us more tranquility, more peace. And this is going to be Mariaga, I believe, who's, who gets this one. That was off of a rebound from the shot we took. Um, I probably should have scored this one in the first shot, but, any, but I mean, the goalkeeper made a great save. But Mariaga was there to get that a goal. Um, and we'll see it again right here. That was a nice header for the assist. Um, and he gets the ball back. And all he has to do is rocket this one inside the goal. So no goalkeeper in sight. And that was a pretty good one. So 3-1. But Belenenses is going to come back uh, towards the end of the match. 78 minutes already. And they come and score the second goal of the match. Which made this a little bit more dramatic than it should have. So 2-3. My defense was just crap. Look at everybody just trying to get a piece of that ball, but nothing. Um, we couldn't do anything about that. But the game ends, and we end up getting those three points. So 3-2, and I was really glad that the match was over. 
just because um, you know they could have scored that equalizer. Um, so we got that win, and as you can see in the in the stats right there, the shots and the possession, everything was pretty close. So it was kind of a close game, even though at one point we were winning by two goals. So that was the that was the first game of the episode, and we got that W. So the second one, we are playing against FC Basel in the Champions League. So this was an opportunity to get another win here and maybe be in first place. Juventus right now in first place, difference of goals. We are second, so I was ready to go. But first, we had um, a couple of players here from the academy that I was able to sign. So I did sign one of the players um, that he had 93 or 94 potential. So obviously, I'm just going to go for the players that have potential uh, usually over 90 but I, I did sign a player that was around the 80s um, because you never know they could they could be good um, you know in the it doesn't really matter um, if it doesn't say 90 or more potential like they could still reach that if you use the player right but anyway so we got that player and um, I believe he ends up being a left back uh, I think you guys will see it later so we're playing the second um, game here and we're playing against FC Basel in the Champions League so I got to change the team up a little bit. Um, I think in the league I changed it up and I used uh, some, of my, some of my players in the bench and some of the players in reserves. We, I think, honestly, I think we have a pretty good team because um, um, even players in reserves, um, they're, they can play in the team as starters, I feel. So um, it just tells us how, um, how good the squad is, is in terms of players. We might not have as many players as other teams, like other big teams, but I think we still have a great depth in the squad. Um, so we're going to get the first goal in the match here. And this is going to come via, via, however you want to say it. Um, Abubakar gets the goal. So number nine gets the first one in the match. And I think that was in, let me look at the minutes here. Because um, it's kind of hard to see from where I'm looking at the, as I look at the video. <laughs> Um, but um, I think it was the seventh minute it could have been and before this Corona had a nice chance to make it 1-0 but he ended up not scoring that goal like I said I just left the goals here because all the other edits look really really bad um, so but it's gonna be FC Basel who gets the equalizer here this goal pissed me off just the f for the fact that my defender wasn't able to push this guy off the ball should have been uh, shouldn't have not been a goal in my opinion and towards the end of the match it's already 93 plus minutes and FC Basel gets the goal 2-1 I'm playing at home and this guy gets another goal he gets the winner that is gonna be it there's no more goals and I cannot believe it honestly I cannot believe it but look at the goal this was pretty good um uh, as much as, uh, as I was pissed off this was a crazy finish like no goalkeeper was gonna get that and I gotta give it to the player he did really good so we ended up losing the match 2-1 at home which is really disappointing you don't want to lose lose any matches at home especially in the Champions League so I I was just disappointed overall and um, I just couldn't believe they scored that goal at the end so that was pretty that was a huge bummer and hopefully it doesn't happen again because now we're going to play against Juventus in our next Champions League game. And I think we have to go to their stadium. So that's going to be a hard one for us. So, But we're playing the third match of the episode. And this is against Estoril, Estoril I believe. Um, and they get the first goal. And this was kind of cringeworthy just because the ball rebounds off my wall and goes to the player but that was a really nice shot honestly look at that look at how the ball just kind of curves a little bit hits the post and in so not a good start we are losing losing the match but we are gonna get jesus corona and now he scores in this match the last one he actually um either the last one or the one before he missed one really easy that um kind of similar like this one and he ends up missing it so I was glad that he scored this goal, and um, I mean I, I I knew the goal was gonna come for him, and because um, he makes really good runs and he's a great dribbler, and has good skills. So I was glad he scored this one. Very nice left footed shot, uh, finessed it into the other post, and the goalkeeper, as much as he reached, he could not get this one. So one one the match was 
Oh, a draw. Then Sword is going to get this shot or this cross in the box. And seriously, this is... I really, I really, really, really cannot believe this one actually went in. So, like, honestly, this is... This is one of those goals that you just kind of like scratch your head and just like you're just baffled about how that went in. But I don't know whose fault this was. My defense, Casillas, or simply it was just a good goal. But this guy almost had no angle to score that and he did. So 2-1. We're losing the match here. I did not want to lose another match in a row. But it's going to be our boy. Our man of on top. And then that's going to be Suarez to get that equalizer and that is in the 93rd minute 93 plus so now we get a little taste of scoring and late goals as in the last game we got scored on pretty late and it was uh it was just a disaster you know but this game we ended up getting that goal super nice finish um but it could have gone it could have been a miss i mean he did take that shot with his left foot um, and it, went, it hits the post so that could have been tragic at the end i really would have probably raged Threw my control out the window or something, so, you know, something like that. But um, just kidding, I would never do that. My controller is already kind of messed up as it is, anyways. <laughs> but um, so that was a good goal that we got there. Um, I tried to get something at the end, but story was just um, keeping the ball away from me. So the game is gonna end, and that is gonna be it. A two draw, two two draw. Um, that's not too bad considering that we could have lost the game. Um, and I think Abubakar ends up getting the man of the match. Um, is it? Yeah, he gets the man of the match. Even though Suarez got the uh, got the goal at the end, I mean, I feel like it should have gone to him. But anyways, that is how it went. Look at that stats right there: 18 shots to eight. But then um, the shots on target were only nine to four. So we gotta definitely work on our finishing because it could cost us points and. So that was a draw. I think that was the third draw in the season. So don't want to have that many draws. But we are still there in second place. And Sporting Lisboa is just on top. Only because of the goal difference. So we got to be careful with that. We definitely have to score. No, actually, I think we're doing pretty good on scoring. It's just our defense is doing pretty bad. And that's something I have to fix. Because, um, you know, we don't, we don't want to end up, you know, being at the top of the league but then having all these goals scored against us that would look pretty bad um but anyways um getting uh, um moving away from that we are putting some players here for training so this is something that i think it's important to do in career mode even though maybe players are not growing as quick as you would want them to but it's something that i think will help overall if you do it like a lot throughout the season i think it'll be pretty good i really haven't done that too much in, a, in past career modes like in fifa 17 so i want to do i want to make it a habit here of doing that so look at that almost every player or oh, every player passed their training um some players got these but um you know that's that's still passing so it's not too bad um but you want to get players um getting you know season up that way they actually grow um, and some of the players that are younger uh, are going to get more benefit from that because the player that I did sign from the Youth Academy, he um, I need to grow him by, I think, five points, at least five points. That's one of the objectives that they set for me, and I actually do want to fulfill that. So I want to make sure that I get that objective done, and that gives me brownie points towards the end of the season so that I don't get fired just in case I don't win you know the league or the champions league which i mean that's kind of hard to do anyways and a little bit unrealistic but we're gonna go for it obviously and then the the taca of portugal the cup i mean we should be able to seal that we should be able to win at least our cu the cup and the league so that is basically a priority and then champions league if we get into court finals i think that would be awesome but yeah guys that's gonna be the end of the episode thank you guys so much for watching i uh, apologize for the technical difficulties next video should be good and that is going to be it. I will see you in the next video, guys. So, yeah, later and peace out.